Hi, Doug Wallen from the Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. Today we're going to be talking about performing meniscal allograft procedure. This is a procedure where we actually replace the cushion cartilage in your knee joint. Typically this is done on the inner aspect of the knee. It can often also be done on the outer aspect of the knee. This being the right knee, the inner aspect of the knee shows the medial meniscus right here. Oftentimes, if a person's had bad damage to their meniscus or they've had a repair that didn't work very well, then, then they will be a good candidate for a meniscal allograft procedure. As long as the patient has good alignment, such that they're bearing weight equally across both joint surfaces, and they have relatively good cartilage on the surface of the joint, it would be a good candidate for a meniscal allograft procedure. We perform these procedures in patients up to 50 or even 55 years old, although that's not the most common. If a person is healthy and active, it might be the procedure for you. How we perform a meniscal allograft procedure is really minimally invasive. First, we perform the knee scope with small incisions where we go into the knee and inspect all the structures. Once we determine that the patient is definitely a good candidate for meniscal allograft, we proceed. We make a small incision in the front of the knee, approximately two centimeters, to introduce the new tissue. Between myself and my surgical assistants, we prepare the graft and then insert it through this small incision. Small, small bone plugs are used to secure the meniscus into the bone. And then the meniscus is sewn to the inner aspect of the knee through multiple stitches. Once the meniscus is placed, we then cycle the knee through range of motion to ensure that it's, that it's stable, and we're done. Once we perform a meniscal allograft procedure, uh, we have to restrict your weight bearing for approximately four to eight weeks after surgery. We'll place you into a brace, and you'll be on crutches during that time. The meniscus typically takes about three to six months to completely heal in and you'll get back to your regular activities.